Hey Fight fans, Michael Frankel here behind the camera for Next.com and Cage Mines, interviewing Brandy Baby Doll Montoya. She is just signed to compete for the Super Flyweight Intercontinental title of the WIBA. So how are you feeling about title shot time? I'm very excited. I've been waiting a long time for this to come. Uh, my coach just tells me to be patient and I have been and I've been training really hard and I will continue to train really hard. Um, for this title. Six fights into your career, four fight winning streak. People, you know, spend their whole fighting careers, you know, striving to get to where you're at. Can you talk about that a little bit, how the hard work, how fast and how the dedication has paid off? Um, you know, it's just a lot of people want it. It's just a matter of going to get it and I think just um, like you said, striving and working hard and sometimes you don't want to do it and you have to have the old man uh, push you and force you to do it, and I think it, it just all pays off. In you know, in the long run, you start getting the titles like um, this is an intercontinental title, which is which is awesome, and then it's a stepping stone to a world title. And I think that um, you know, I'll just continue to train really hard and just continue to move forward. So at this time right now, your opponent is unknown, but there's two prospective opponents out there right now that are being thrown around. And you know both girls, so what do you think about both possible matchups? Um, what was it? Oh, I think um, both of them would be would be great fights. Um, I know one more than the other, obviously, and um, I'm kind of hoping for her. But either either one would be would be great. I mean, I'll be training hard for either one of them. So <clears throat> we know you're coming off of a fight on September first. Yes. Have you got back in the gym yet since then? We're about 10 days ago from that fight. I have. I took a break and I got back in. Um, How long of a break did you take after all that? <laughs> a week. I took a week off. So a week off and you're right back to it. Uh, is there anything you're going to do to change up the camp now this time because you're focusing on a title or is it business as is because you've been on this winning streak? I think it's pretty much business as is. Just, I mean, I don't, I don't think I train like harder for any other fight than I do. I mean, I train the same pretty much in all my fights, you know, I train hard. And I think, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still going to train hard for this title and we, I just kind of um, go off what uh, Professor Rosales tells me to do and just go from there. So just talking about the possibility of being a champion, you know, what kind of thoughts and emotions is that bringing up in you? I'm not going to, I'm not going to let that get to me. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to work hard and I hope I have that belt around me when the time comes, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it in my head because I'll get really excited. <laughs> Looks like you already are excited <laughs> just by getting the fight and the staying in shape. So you're only out of the gym for a week. So were you even able to get out of shape yet, or are you just ready to go again? If they told you the title fight was next week, you're ready. I, I, I mean, I would take it. I would fight, but I, I wouldn't feel as confident as I normally would, obviously, but. I don't think I got too much out of shape. Well, we know on September 1st you were victorious against Chantal Cordova, and it was by unanimous decision. I think you clean sweep, clean, uh, clean sweep of the rounds. Can you talk a little bit about how that fight went? Um, I think it went pretty much the same all eight rounds, to be honest. Um, it, it was a... I, I think I did really well in that fight, and surprisingly, um, like all the training that I put into in the gym, it kind of like all just came to me during that fight. And I was, and I don't know, it was just, it was really good. I think I dominated her in most, in most aspects of that fight. And um, nobody was expecting me to do it, which is, which is what feels the best, I think. The winning is one thing, but the fact that I proved so many people wrong is, is another thing. Okay, so from the fight before that to the Chantal fight, how much do you think you improved? Mm, I don't think it was so much as improvement. I mean, I think I improved. I think I improved some, but um, as like head movement and um, just moving around the ring, I think I improved that mainly because I went to California and sparred Karina, and she kind of schooled me on that. So I, I learned to try to work on that, but I just train on specific things for each fight and I think that's what I just mainly improved on. 
So with that, the head movement, the foot movement, yeah. are you happy about where you're at now with that or you still feel you have a lot of room to grow with it? Definitely have a lot of room to grow, no doubt. I always have room to grow in everything, in everything that, I mean in every aspect of boxing and kickboxing and my martial art, there's always room to grow. Okay, and we know last time from when we interviewed you about the sweet tooth. So after you beat Chantel, what, what was the dessert? What did you get? Um, pancakes, actually. I got, I got um, these red velvet chocolate pancakes or something like that. <laughs> so the celebration was good. You're ready to get back to work. So now that you have the uh, title fight, the contract signed, and your opponent, opponent should be known within the coming days, mm -hmm. Where do you go from here now? Do you what do you do? Start breaking down a game plan, or you know, waiting for the opponent. Where's the next step for you? Um, Professor Rosales will tell me what I need to do, and probably by you know tomorrow or a few days, and I'll just go from there. You know, train hard. I run. I I uh, started doing more strength and conditioning again, and you know, I'll be ready for October twentieth. So has anybody ever told you before, by now doing these interviews, you sound like the good soldier, I just wait for the general to tell me what to do? <laughs> <laughs> he has me uh, brainwashed. <laughs> brainwashed and a fighting machine. And we're ready to see Baby Doll come home with a title. Give you a second to thank whoever you wanted to. Shout out to the promotion about the fight. I definitely want to thank um, Travis Promotions. They've um, pretty much have stuck with the things that they've been saying that they were going to do for me and I really I really appreciate um, their help that they've been giving me. Um, obviously I want to thank my coach Professor Rosales. Uh, I could be hard sometimes and I know I'm, I have some attitude sometimes and I just want to thank him for staying with me and sticking by my side and my dad also. Um, everybody who trains with me and you know they deal with me, they deal with my bad moods or just you know just the hard times that we have together and my family and my supporters who are there for me for every fight and I just I really appreciate that from every single one of them thank you for the time we can't wait for the title fight it's gonna go down in Las Vegas New Mexico check out nux.com to keep updated with all the fights being announced for that bout thank you very much thank thanks you. for watching